Now next come is a data blending. Now what is a data blending? Data blending is nothing, but it's a powerful feature in Tableau. Data blending is basically when you are blending the two datas together. Now there is a very huge difference between a data blending and a data join. Data join is something different. Data blending is something different. It's a part of powerful feature which is used when there's a related data in a multiple data sources. Like for example, you have related data based on multiple data sources. Then you want to analyze them in a single view. So basically that's what it means. Now what is blending of the two data sets together? Okay, so that what it is called as a data blending. Now there is a huge difference between your data blending and joining. There is a huge difference between them. So data blending basically uh, stimulates a traditional left join. Okay, whereas a join combines the data and then aggregates it. So blending, first of all, it will just mainly it will perform an aggregation first and then it will join the data together. Whereas in case of joining, it will first join the data and then perform an aggregation. So these are two different parts altogether. Now, for example, let's consider that you have a sales data. And uh, there is another table which have a sales target data. And now you want to combine that data together. So obviously in the sales data and your sales target data, you will have something in common like the sale ID or maybe something of that sort. So based on that sale ID, you are going to combine that. But that is combined inside the view, like the worksheets and not on the data source front. We don't combine it on the data source front. So Tableau has two inbuilt data sources. Basically, there is a sample superstore and coffee superstore, which used to illustrate the data blend. Now, how we do the data blending? Let's see an example. Let's say I'll add in another So, okay, let me just check once and take the data. Okay.
So let's say in this table, I want to blend the data together and I'll just bring in another data source. From here, I bring this data. So now that is one data source of sample superstore. And I have data over here. Let's say I bring the orders table together. I bring back. And I have a coffee table here. Now, if let's say I want to see the data, I told you that we can view the data all together. In fact, you can export the data also. So this is a sort of data that we have over here. If you want to export all the data together, you can export it as a full data in the form of a CSE file, and you can save it. So let's say in this case, if I want to combine these two data sets together, okay, how I'm going to combine them? Obviously, the first thing is that if you see this data set, it has a state as common column. And in this also, you will find the state as your data set. So on the basis of state, I can combine the data together. Here also we have state. See, here also we have state. Now, you see this green mark, as soon as I click on this, this will become a data blend, blended data altogether. So let's suppose now in this case, if I want to see the states across from my sample superstore data, I want to bring those states, like I have combined on the basis of the states, I'm blending the data, and I want to see for the different segments of the data, So that's why there is a, oh, sorry, I have not created a relationship, my bad. So then I will bring the segment table here. And now you can see that we can have the different segments based on that we are seeing the data of its type. Or let's suppose I bring the state only from here. So see, for that state from this table, I'm able to see the product, product types and all of them together. So this is basically a concept of data blending where on the uh, where you basically set up a relationship between the two tables. Now it doesn't matter if that relationship have a common, co the co value in the common column have the uniqueness or not, doesn't matter with that. But that is a relationship which is set up. So this is called as a, data blending now in data blending you will see if i'll show you as a step this is secondary data sources that you need to add for so every time you are adding a data or you are uh, combining with the data or doing the stuff like that so then you will see there's an orange mark so this orange mark is nothing but it's a secondary table which is combined this table and then it is working on with the data sets this is how it works with the data and this is how we work with the data as well so that is what is data blending for us now you can integrate the data from both the above sources based on a common dimension like for example if you have a small chain image that needs to have a next dimensions in state and indicates a common dimensions between two data sources then you can drag the state field from a primary data source and to the row shelf and then you can blend the data as per your requirement. So this is how the data blending works. Okay.